right, we're gonna continue hypothesis testing. Now we're gonna look at hypothesis testing for means. So I wanna do a quick review on the sampling distribution of the sample mean. So recall from previous sections, the mean of the distribution of all of those possible sample means. So this is the mean of that sampling distribution is equal to mu the population mean the standard deviation or the standard error of that distribution is equal to the population standard deviation divided by the sample size square rooted square root of the sample size so sample size is under the square root. The central limit theorem, this is the thing that tells us whether or not we have a normal distribution. So our distribution of our sampling distribution is normal, which is what we need it to be in order to do these hypothesis tests, is normal if our sample size is greater than or equal to 30 or the population that we are sampling from is known to be normally distributed. And this guy is only going to happen if we are told that it's known to be normal. If it does not tell us in the problem that it's known to be normal, it is normal, it's coming from a normal distribution, we need to be looking at this. In the real world, this is what you're going to be looking at. Did I sample at least 30 people? And then we're going to need just the z-score formula. So the z-score formula is the sample mean minus the population mean divided by the standard error formula. So this is a quick review of some of the key things from that sampling distribution of the sample mean.